Hello, Alexia. Um, let me start off by saying I really like your overall color scheme design of your e-portfolio. I think it's coming together very nicely. I like how you have your name at the top and you have it labeled as e-portfolio. I think as some alternatives, one of the suggestions I would make is instead of maybe a capital E period, capital P, and then a period at the end, uh, you might consider some uh, some other options. You could write it out as lowercase e, uppercase p, just to be a little bit creative in the capitalization there with no space between the e and the p. I would, in all cases, remove the period at the end. I don't think it's uh, necessary. You could also, another alternative would be to capitalize e and then write lowercase p. That could also be an option. Or you could write it all lowercase. Yeah, I see basically three different options for you for writing out ePortfolio. But I like how you have your name here. I like how you also have it at the bottom. And uh, for now, I think it's certainly appropriate if you want to write out uh, Licenciatura. Now, I would write this out in English. And I would suggest your entire ePortfolio be written in English. So when you write out sobre mi, you might write out about me as you have it here. Now I notice, um, let's see, check your spelling. And in fact, um, you probably want to change this. Uh, this is a false cognate between English and Spanish. And uh, we want to write out uh, or use the word, I think, major instead of career. Be careful with the difference in English between major and career. It's a little bit different uh, when, uh, when you use the, the same word in Spanish. So here you have prope subjects. And one of the suggestions I would make also would be to maybe list out um, or write out these as subpages in your main page. Let me explain. So here at the top, you have a navigational bar. So you might include in your navigational bar a section or a subpage dedicated for English language development. We talked in class about even later perhaps adding to your navigational screen um, different areas like applied linguistics, teaching methodology, and, and practicum. And even though maybe at this point you don't have any information to include in those sub pages, I don't see anything wrong with, go ahead, with uh, going ahead and adding to your navigational bar those, those sub pages. But one of the subpages that you will be adding to will be English development, right? Because basically all of the classes, perhaps with the exception of culture, um, are really dedicated to helping you improve your English proficiency. So here you do have a drop-down menu, which I mentioned, okay? Um, but maybe instead of portfolio, since the whole website is a portfolio, this page is going to be actually some aspect or sub page of your ePortfolio, if that makes sense. Just like Sobre Me or About Me, that is a sub page of your ePortfolio. If you have a blog, that's going to be a sub page for your ePortfolio. So, again, perhaps in this case, a general category that's going to be uh, representative of the courses that you're taking this semester, like listening and speaking, reading, grammar, culture, and writing. Again, double check your spelling for writing. Um, that you will probably want to have a title here that is, for example, I would say English development. It's not overly long. You might even write out uh, skill development, perhaps, or English skill development. There's different options, but some title or heading that represents that notion. So that's what I would suggest. Again, I like your welcoming message here. I like your backdrop. Your images here are great. Um, I would maybe consider something along the bottom, maybe a slight difference uh, or change, changing to English for one. And maybe the second, instead of listening and speaking, although I'm asking you to do this in your listening and speaking class, this space really is not uh, for just one class, right? It, right now, it's to uh, include 
or at least consider all of the classes that you're taking. And as you go forward into the BA and you take more classes in different uh, strands or different lines, then you're going to be expanding your ePortfolio. And we want to begin thinking about how to set up your space so that you can easily add content to it from er other areas. If you have a blog and you want to create a blog, I think that's great. I, I encourage you to do so. If you're not thinking about a blog at this point, then I would suggest probably removing this extraneous um, information. 